and you heard the uh, Hessian Brigade that occupied Trenton arrived here actually about the 14th of December, 1776. So, um, and in fact, the old barracks had Hessian troops in it, and they were also quartered in various houses around the town. Washington's army was evaporating at this point, um, and, and people had thought that uh, the, the, the revolution as it was, was over. Washington has retreated from New Jersey to Pennsylvania. It has turned bitterly cold. His soldiers have no tents and little winter clothing. Washington himself is now engaged in a personal battle for survival. Among the Army's top generals, there is open talk of replacing him. The soldiers' terms of enlistment will be up on December 31st. In one week, Washington will be a general without an army. Across the Delaware River from the Americans, in the small town of Trenton, New Jersey, the Hessian colonel, Johann Rall, and his brigade prepare to celebrate the holidays. Washington decides to risk all his troops in a surprise offensive. Horses and cannon and the remains of his army will cross the half-frozen Delaware River in the middle of the night and launch an attack on the Hessian camp at Trenton. The troops march to the boats in the most profound silence. Christmas, 3 a.m., all the troops have crossed the river and the boats have gone back for the artillery. I've never seen Washington so determined. He stands on the bank of the river, wrapped in his cloak, overseeing the landing of his troops, calm and collected. Overcoming the pickets, the Americans discovered to their amazement that most of the Hessians are still in their quarters. Surprise has been achieved. The Hessians attempt several counterattacks, but the swift American advance and the mortal wounding of their commander proves too much. The remaining Hessians, some 900, surrender. With their captives in tow, Washington's army slips back across the river. Miraculously, the Americans lose only two men, lost not to Hessian bullets, but to the vicious cold.